right, let's test this out. We got Fantastic Four versus a similar power uh, Marauders team with Emma, but it's a smaller Emma because it's still a little new. Um, but what we're seeing here is a very large Sabertooth and a uh, decently sized team. My uh, Fantastic Four is relatively even, except for Invisible Woman is tier 14, so she's a little stronger than the rest of them. But you'll see here, this is actually a pretty safe punch across or punch down. Uh, this team works really well against Marauders because it has enough sustainability and punch to get through a lot of their stuff. Uh, however, it can go very wrong sometimes. So like you can see here, my Invisible Woman just got the Mystique Alt on her. And then, uh, yeah, and we're going right into the Strife because we have to. Um, thankfully, my Invisible Woman did resist the slow there, which is important. And of course, we have the Namor Offense Dump Ult to remove a whole bunch of buffs. I do not have Tier 4s in Namor's Ult, which otherwise would strip everything. But as you can see there, I got a little unlucky because the Taunt uh, is still up there on Strife. So we just have to take him out. Um, since we got rid of the defense up, that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, although the Mr. Fantastic Ult would remove it anyway and hit him pretty hard. And now what you're seeing here is uh, Strife has got a barrier. They cloned my Invisible Woman, which is probably the worst thing they could clone. <laughs> and uh, now she just gave them all more barriers. Uh, he's got some regenerations on him. Um, this fight is not going my way very well right now. Um, so you can see there they did the uh, retaliation from my Invisible Woman to them. Uh, just do a little damage, but uh, not a whole lot there. Um, so we got a ton of debuffs um, because of the Invisible Woman stuff. You can see here I was checking them out to see their slow offense down X2 from Invisible Woman's ult and then the bleed. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff to deal with here. But I'm able to get down the strife because of the offense up still on thing. So that helps. Um, Mystique just flipped all these buffs, which is not great. Um, and they go again for Invisible Woman, but she survives barely. Uh, <laughs> that was the Emma Frost ult, which caused two of my guys to hit her, as well as one of theirs. Uh, and it does the highest damage dealers too. So uh, she tanked that pretty well. Um, so that was good. And then we got, uh, let's see, Invisible Woman Special to finally clear all those debuffs, get some uh, defense up so we can survive for a little longer. And since we already got through Strife, this, this match is, is going my way pretty well, but uh, we still have some stuff to deal with here. And it is, it is going to take a little bit of time just because they have so much sustainability. So one thing you have to be careful of with this fight is that you don't run out of time. Um, so if you're using a, a slower team on a bigger punch up, um, you can run into issues where you run out of time. So you can see there, Invisible Woman Special. Now I got to get through these stealths and I got to get through the defense ups and they're going to heal a bunch in the meantime. And they might kill my Invisible Woman too because she's got defense down now because <laughs> she got the buff flip from the Emma Frost basic there. So now we've got, uh, still got to fight through them. I'm trying to kill Frost because I figure, you know, she is kind of low at only 41k here. So it does make this fight a little bit easier. Um, but since it's available i figured i'd do it and now we got the torch ult finally does a lot of damage there and then thing follows up with the assist thanks to mr fantastic's uh, passive and he finishes off emma which makes this uh, a lot easier you can see we're already over two minutes into this fight there's still three main guys and one clone to get through um, still trying to punch through them and there goes uh invisible woman uh, Johnny Storm's about to die, and now we got a 3v4, and they can potentially get more clones if they get a little lucky here with the energy. Uh, but I finally get Sabretooth down. He was their biggest uh, damage dealer, so that was that was important. But now they have a lot of sustain and um, survivability, and I don't. So I just take out Invisible Woman because I can't I can't afford to let her get another ability off. Otherwise, I'll be screwed. So here's the Mystique Alt getting punched by Mr. Fantastic, of course. Then we got uh, Sinister here uh, doing his attack and then getting an assist from Mystique. So that means this Mystique has the passive maxed. Uh, and then we get a couple of hits from Thing, who does a little bit of damage. I'm trying to get Sinister down. If I can get him down before he heals, then I'll be okay. And I do. And uh, just squeak this one out here. <laughs> um, but I have seen other people posting, um, you know, the actual, like, fight end screen things of, uh, or the readouts uh, from the room to show, you know, who they beat and what they beat them with. And Fantastic Four seems to be a pretty solid option for beating the new Emma Rodgers team, uh, at least on 
even punch crosses or even a little bit of a punch down if it's a very large M Marauders team. Um, you just gotta look and, and see, you know, what are their biggest power uh, characters and try to um, be careful with what you're attacking. Um, you know, if they have a huge Sinister, he's probably going to be pretty hard to kill, and his clones are going to hit pretty hard. So if he clones one of your damage dealers, you might be in trouble. Like, um, you know, maybe a Namor, if he gets his ult off as a clone, uh, he'll strip all your buffs, and that could do a lot of damage. So you just got to be careful. In this case, though, I mean, since Sabertooth was so large, it really wasn't a big concern for me. Um, just because, and you can see here the, the readout, um, just because, you know, Sabertooth's the weakest link of this team. And, I mean, it, the problem here is that they just didn't have a ton of damage, I think. So, maybe with a stronger Emma, you know, that would bunch up their total power a little bit more. But with a, a but even then, I think this team, F4, can punch across on, on M Rodders pretty well. And so I'm going to try to find some better attacks like this. The only thing is mine is limited. This is with armory up on mine, so 362 is... Uh, not ginormous right <laughs> um and that's it's so I, I i'm gonna have to try to find better attacks in war to make against these guys but i thought this one was a pretty good example of how that fight can go and how it could go really poorly too so i would say i got very unlucky in the circumstances of uh, having invisible woman cloned which is really the one you don't want cloned and then also losing Torch partway through. Um, and then if I hadn't been able to kill Sinistry there, if he'd gotten a special off with Mystique, uh, with all those buffs that they had, I might have lost that 3v2, um, or 3v3, I guess, uh, with the clone. And so I got a little bit lucky there to kind of get him down fast enough, but I was dumping all of my attacks on him. So just, you know, think about target prioritization, think about who you can kill. Um, sometimes it just comes down to who got crit and who got hurt, you know, by, uh, thing or Namor or Torch and focusing somebody down that you know seems to be a little weaker but that's that's basically the fight um, I'll see if I can find better ones later and post them and try to review them a little bit too to give some insights on how to do these attacks but for the most part it's pretty standard F4 attacking you just got to be smart with the target priority and uh, I'm considering I'm considering maybe upgrading that Namor alt to max just to clear all buffs because I think that would have made this fight a lot easier if I had that. And so I'm thinking that may be a key upgrade for this particular matchup, but we'll see. It just tends to be a lot of buffs on the, on the other side, and so you want to clear them. But that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or uh, ideas on other things to do with this. Thanks.